Hi, Royal Ones. This is Miss Gigi coming at you again with another juicy episode. Let's get straight into it. Do you and your man have sexual chemistry? Now, you need that. It's um, it's more to sex than just him getting on top of you and and, and then you you know you have an orgasm and you lay down and go to sleep and, and then you know turn over and go to sleep afterwards or you get up and you go wash up and and then you go go to bed and that's it you know no sexual chemistry is when when you're talking to that man and his tone of voice changes and he and his that 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 masculine tone drops and it sounds so sexy it's like Oh, you sound like 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 he's like he becomes like man's man, and um, when we when we talk, it's like chills go down my spine. It's like oh, baby, I just love when you when you talk to me. It's automatically a sexual uh, trigger hearing your voice, and um, it's a turn on in conversation. Then it's 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 a bigger turn on when you're talking about sex, and it's like um. When you're talking about your favorite sexual position and he was like, oh, I like when I'm on top of you. And then I say, well, I like it. And then he said he liked it doggy style. We're talking about the different positions. But it, it, the conversation, and I say, it sounds so, it sounds so different. It sounds so romantic. He said, it just, it just makes me just want to make love to you all night. I say, you know, babe, I like when, when I'm pleasing you, you know, giving you, um, sexual gratification and um and he says oh you do i said yes i like to sexually gratify you i like when you grab because i have short hair so when he grabbed my hair it's all make me go make him, i make him go crazy and it ain't my i'll have long hair so I, it's just <laughs> and i said you know what when you come i swallow i don't spit and he was like, whoa, like, you know, I love, I love that. I love that we can talk about it. And it, it, he was like, oh, I just, he want to dive through the phone on me. And so uh, that, that's sexual chemistry. And um, we're comfortable enough to talk about the different sex positions that, um, that we like. Like he like doggy style and I, you know, I like missionary. I like to put, sexually gratify my man. You know, um, different karma sutra positions, you know, uh, and everything. So it just, it feels great when you're in love with that man and you have that sexual chemistry. And I love when you just <sighs> infatuated with my breast, you know, different sensual touch, different parts of my body. And it's like, um, I like who he is. I'm, I'm in love with him. And so when he touches my body, it's. It's amazing. It, it feels good. Every touch is like it's a it's a, a neural sensor trans. I don't know something happened. I I get hot all over. I start sweating, and then it feels like my heartbeat dropped into my vagina because my there's pulsating, pulsating. So it, it turns me on. It just it it does my whole body activates when he touches me, and it's an amazing thing. So that's called sexual chemistry and I, I look at him and he looks at me and in a bed for about you know two hours and we're, we're, we're good and then we cuddle even though we're hot and sweating you know he's not in a rush to run off and you're not in a rush to run off you just want to sit down we talk about something you know all day talk about what happened talk about what's on our mind and and then we both go take a shower together that's chemistry it's more than just sex. It's chemistry. We talk, we talk, you know, told each other. It feels amazing. And um, that's the type of chemistry you got to have with your man, with your lady. And so when you're not, when you don't have any sexual chemistry with your partner, it doesn't matter the size of the penis. It's, it's the level of chemistry with that person. And if he got a good character, he got a good heart, he treats you right. You're going to fall madly in love with that guy. And the size of his penis does not matter. It's the level of connection. The 
the chemistry and then it's the conversation the comment if you have intelligent conversation that is a turn on they call that sapiosexual yes sapiosexual is when you when intelligent conversation is a turn on and so definitely it's not the size of the penis doesn't matter at all because if you're good with your words and your tone of voice is at a certain you know y'all know how y'all men drop your your tones like yeah baby you know how it's <laughs> But it becomes a, you know, a turn on um, in regards to, you know, conversation. So that is, I, I hope that you're having uh, sexual chemistry with your, with your, um, your partner, your boyfriend, your, your girlfriend. I pray that, um, I hope you have that in your marriage. You need that to fall in love and stay in love. It's not, it's not about um, the size of your penis. The last video, it says size, does size matter? No, it don't. It, the chemistry matters, actually. Chemistry matters. And I said, you have, have a big heart. A big heart matters, but, but, you know, big heart, but also sexual chemistry. Because when you, when you, when you talking about sex, when you approach the the topic, do you approach it aggressively? Are you being nasty? Are you being filthy? Are you saying, you know, are you, how are you, you know, how how is the energy around the conversation with you? If you're making it feel disgusting and degrading and you're making it feel like it's sinful and shameful, then sex is not going to be as enjoyable or pleasurable. So, we have to be mature. And this happens. This is how babies are born. In fact, this is how 2 billion people are in China. 2 billion people in Africa. That's 300 million, over 300 million citizens in, in the U.S. Because sex is definitely taking place in the bedroom. But it's the fact that, and, and then marriages is occurring. But in regards to being married, it's like, how do you keep that, that sexual chemistry alive in the bedroom? And so you got to have more of an open and honest conversation. This will save so many marriages if you're being honest about sex. Let's talk about sex. Sex is important and it's important to have as much often as, as, as possible. You got to check your schedule, check his schedule, but you got to get it in during the week or it, the relationship is going to fall apart. And you got to have that chemistry when you do it. You got to have to be in the right mindset. Say, oh, he wants to make love to me this week. I got to make sure I got, you know, you got to be excited when it comes to having sex with your man on your on date night because we're very busy people. And uh, so you got to schedule him in. And so for date night, sex, it's got to happen in your mind. How do you approach it? How do you feel? about your about your partner when it comes to having sex when it comes to date night leading up to date night and that normally tells you whether or not the relationship is falling apart or your marriage is falling apart because you're not excited about having sex with this person it's like if you're disgusted and turned off it's over if you're not excited when they come home from work because they want to have sex you know they finna they want to Oh, he wants something when he come home. Dang. I wish he would have stayed at work a little longer. I got to find me somewhere to be. I got to find something to do. I got to stay busy. I, I got to keep myself busy. People actually um, keep themselves preoccupied to avoid having sex at night. And uh, so this is intentional. They work longer hours. They stay um, they, they, they create a, something to stay busy, like they'll enroll in school, they'll enroll in a college course, or they'll uh, just take up an extra hobby uh, um, outside of their relationship, or they'll just be hanging out with their friends, excessively hanging out with family members in order to avoid having sex with that man or that woman. They'll just stay extra busy. And then when they say, well, you ain't never available for sex anymore. It's like, oh, man, I'm too busy. I'm too tired. You know, I had everything I had to do today. You know, I had stuff I got going on. So if you're running away from having sex with your 
your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, it's not, it's not going to work. You shouldn't be there. The sexual chemistry is gone. First of all, if you're having sex, it's possible you could get pregnant. Then you're going to have a child with a man that you don't love. Or you're going to have a baby with a woman that you don't love. And so now you're all in a household, a loveless household, a loveless marriage, a loveless relationship, and you're both miserable. And it's because you don't have that sexual chemistry. He doesn't turn you on anymore. And he doesn't say the things he used to say to you. And that tone of voice that makes you, you know, that activates your yoni. That activate your, you know, that. And then while you're having sex, it doesn't feel the same. And so it's like, I just want him to hurry up and nut and get off me. No, 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 that's not, that's not love. I, I'm tired. I got to go to work. Just hurry up and bust it up. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Like I got, I got, yeah, I got all, my, 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 I got so much projects to do at work. I got so much I got going on. So while you're laying there, making love to this man, making love to this woman, you're thinking about what you got to do the next day. You're thinking about work. So you're already at work before you get to work. Therefore, the sex is not going to be the same. You just want her to just hurry up and just get it on, get it over with. Well, uh, that's not, that's not cool. That you should, um, that you're acting like that, and that's your approach to having, you know, sex. And I, I recommend, and and eventually, um, it doesn't matter if your penis is big or small. That chemistry is there; it's not gonna last at all. It's not. It's the relationship is gonna fall apart. So stop putting emphasis in the size of your penis because if you don't have no sexual chemistry, you're not gonna hit that 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 spot, her G spot, because. First of all, her body ain't even, you're not even uh, on that same frequency. Because if if you're not matching energies, she's not going to ever have no uh, no orgasm. And, and, and you're probably not going to have no orgasm. Or men, men can have orgasms without being, you know, as long as he comes, he's fine. As long as a man have an orgasm, he's okay. He doesn't have to have any connection to that woman at all. But it seems like us women, we are so emotionally connected and so emotionally involved. When having sex, we it's hard for us to have an orgasm. We just be laying there and let that man just put it in and do what he got to do and then that's it. And then we be so emotionally disconnected to sex. And if that's your approach to it, if you're, if you're laying there letting this man get on top of you, and y'all are, you know, engaged in sexual activity and you don't feel anything, you're, you should not let him do that. You should not go through that because sex is supposed to be an enjoyable activity shared between two people, two consenting adults who, who have an attraction towards each other, who love, or who love each other as a man and a woman that's, that should be enjoyed. Between two people that, that's attracted to each other, that love each other. So I need you to think about, do you have sexual chemistry with your with your partner? Where it was? With your girlfriend? You have sexual chemistry? Do you have sexual chemistry with your boyfriend? Meet me in the comment section. Let's have this conversation. Thank you so much for listening to this message. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.